Here's my eucalyptus plants. We grew these from seed this spring. If you would like to have a go, we will have more seeds. We've actually been counting them. <laughs> so Neil's saying, please buy them. Um, yeah, so we will be doing a grow along on how to grow these. So these are just one year's growth. Aren't they smashing? Absolutely brilliant. So it's sheltered here next to the back of the greenhouse, um, but I probably will move them indoors just for the worst of the winter weather. So we're just in the process now of putting the large eucalyptus plants under the eaves because they will fit in my greenhouse. Obviously my greenhouse is very big, but it will take up all the room and it's really not necessary. You just want to keep them out of any frost pockets, out of the worst of the weather. Now, as our house is so old, it's 1520. I know, amazing, but incredibly drafty, which means that just by the walls, <laughs> a little bit warmer because the heat tends to leak out a little bit because we don't have all the modern insulation we're not allowed it's listed um, but that does mean that, that the eucalyptus trees have got a little micro climate so I'm leaving them there for the winter I'm around the block with this grow along a few times now so I know what's coming and you're going to want to know whether you can prune them now if you want a few stems for the house to do one last vase before the frost comes it looks like tonight um, then by all means take a few stems but you don't want to do any wholesale pruning at this time of the year because these stems are quite mature and tough so they're better able to cope with the wind and the rain if you give them a really hard prune it signals to the plant to start growing and that new growth will be a lot more delicate and much more liable to be burnt in the frost the case with all plants that are evergreen or have a woody framework that survives over the winter we leave the old growth in place then if the worst happens we have an awful winter and the ends of the stems get nipped by the frost it doesn't really matter because you're going to be pruning them in the spring anyway so you'll be cutting off all that damage what you don't want to do is cut it down to the height you want it now then it gets damaged so you have to prune it lower than is ideal and the chances are more damage will be done because the growth will be younger and much more delicate. Oh, one last thing. Don't forget, eucalyptus is evergreen, so it is going to need watering throughout the winter. If you let it dry out, especially if it's in the greenhouse, it might die on you. They really don't like being completely dried out. So make sure that you put your eucalyptus out of a frost pocket, but near the house so you don't forget about them. Just topping up my eucalyptus pots because like I said before they're much more vulnerable to the cold when they're in containers than they are in the ground and we need to make sure they don't dry out so a little snuggly duvet of compost is only going to do good things there look at that doesn't it look smart now this tree is five years old this coming February because this is when we traditionally sow them We'll do it together, I will show you. It's too big now to be coppiced, so we can't cut this right down and make it into a shrub. I don't want to anyway, because I love it for screening. But you can certainly take off plenty of branches to use those in the Christmas wreaths. You wouldn't even notice. Absolutely spectacular. They're all in pots because they don't like my soil. But I don't mind. It's lovely to be able to move them around and decorate the garden. So this is a one-year-old plant, well one-year-old in February, so this one we sowed in the grow along in the spring. I put them up against the black background so you can see properly. So never cut your eucalyptus into dead wood. Don't cut them down to the soil level because you won't come back. You need to make sure that you cut back to a leaf junction. So this is one that was done weeks ago. It's taken his time, but can you see all these new shoots are now coming? Because I didn't cut it back into old wood. He is more vulnerable. Can you see how delicate the foliage is in comparison to the other plants? So this foliage will get burnt much more easily by frost. So he needs to live in the greenhouse now for the whole winter. So if you haven't got room in your greenhouse, don't go snipping your eucalyptus. But if you want a couple of stems and you've got space, that's how it's done. Before you get scissor happy, just one word of warning. Once you take the top off a tree like that, he is no longer a tree. He's going to turn into a shrub. I've got one that I copied a few years ago, so I can show you exactly what he's going to look like. So he will never be a tree again. He will then be a shrub. There we go. 
we go. So this is what a coppiced eucalyptus will grow into. This is now a shrub, so we don't have one main stem. We've got multiple stems. And I think, frankly, it's the same amount of foliage. It's just arranged in a different way. It's lower growing, but still abundant. Still really beautiful. Frankly, he needs a bigger pot. He's drying out for a pastime now, so I'm going to do that next. Can you see? He's getting a bit, when it dries out, they get a bit top heavy. So I shall change his pot, snuggle him in for the winter, and I'm sure he'll look absolutely smashing next year. Now, if you don't cut your eucalyptus, in year two, these were sown in January, not this year, but the year before, they will grow into quite big, impressive plants by the following year. 